it's not uncommon for us to see patients after surgery, especially after surgery for the shoulder, like a labral repair or a rotator cuff repair or anything of the like. Oftentimes those patients, uh, like if, if let's say you have a labral repair and they kind of tack your labrum down, um, or even same thing for, your for a rotator cuff, they kind of sew it back together, oftentimes those patients are more likely to re-tear those structures. And so we may actually see patients that have retorn, uh, you know, their labrum or their rotator cuff and don't want to go through surgery again. Sometimes we'll see patients after shoulder surgery that still have pain. You know, they may not necessarily have retorn anything, but the surgery just, you know, they still have a lot of pain or their pain is different after surgery and they'll come and see us. And what I found actually in some of these cases is that maybe, you know, the tissue is, is healing okay, or maybe there's, you know, some weaknesses in the tissue, but a lot of that pain after surgery is actually related to the nerves. So we've got nerves obviously all over our body. You've got nerves that come to the skin that allow you to feel touch. And sometimes what happens is whether just from like the incision of, you know, kind of getting into the shoulder or, or for arthroscopic, you know, kind of putting in all the instruments is that when that skin heals, those nerves don't heal well around that area. Or just for maybe things that might be stretched during surgery or with the initial injury, a lot of those nerves are actually causing pain. And we can actually treat that in the office. We do that with what's called nerve release injection therapy, or we call it NRIT. Uh, in layman's terms, it's called hydrodissection. And what we do is we actually take our ultrasound and we look at all these little uh, nerves um, around the shoulder or around the area, and we actually inject them with solution. Now, it's not like prolotherapy. We're not trying to inflame the nerves like we are when we're trying to heal tissue. We actually do mostly like a 5% dextro solution. It's non-inflammatory, and what it does is it helps to kind of separate the tissue and kind of give uh, more room for those nerves, um, and also, too, it kind of draws any swelling off of those nerves. You know, if those little nerve endings have been swollen from an injury or from surgery or someone cutting through them, it helps to draw off that swelling and actually help relieve pain. Sure, so a couple of actually recent cases that I've seen um, are both people that have had shoulder surgeries that seem to not help their pain or their pain was different after surgery. Uh, one was actually uh, an older gentleman that was coming for a hip issue and he had just had surgery a couple months ago on his shoulder very painful, you know, very limited range of motion, had a hard time even like turning over on the exam table just from like putting weight on that shoulder. And what we did once he had kind of, you know, cleared from ortho and finished his physical therapy was we actually did this nerve release hydrodissection procedure on all the nerve endings around that shoulder. And what happened was actually when I saw him four weeks later, actually as like a hip follow up is he could move his shoulder. It was incredible. Like he actually had almost near full range of motion on his shoulder. He was complaining of less pain. He was sleeping through the night, you know, rolling over on the table was so much better. It was incredible just by treating the nerves, not actually treating any of the tissue. Um, another case uh, similar uh, was a woman who had had a labral repair and still had um, shoulder pain and like a lot of tightness. Like that was kind of the big thing, like tightness in the back of the shoulder. And we actually did um, some nerve release, a couple of nerve releases on her and it got, you know, got rid of 90% of that pain, like 90% of that tightness that she was feeling after surgery.